Hey everyone, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me and if you do know me and you're back, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming back. Today, as you can see from the title, I'm sure we are decluttering my bathroom. It has become a huge issue. And if you've been following along with the vlogs or you've seen my empty house tour, I'm moving really soon. So it needs to happen. All of the products that have like expired, they're empty, things I just simply don't want anymore, things that have just built up over the last year and a half in this house, they need to go. They're not coming with me to the new bathroom. You know, I always think when I move, like oh, I'm gonna be a new person in this house. I'm probably not gonna be a new person. I'm probably still gonna accumulate clutter and not be very organized, but this is the least I can do. And today we're doing it together. You're gonna help me. You're gonna give me the strength. Literally recording this will help me so much to just get it done and it needs to be done. It's an absolute disaster in there. I don't know how I let it get so bad. I'm sure I'm not alone in this, but this is an intervention that I'm giving myself right now. Am I allowed to use the intervention music right now? Cause I really, really want to. That's my impression. Did you hear it? Long time big fan of intervention over here. Not afraid to say it. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. I'm procrastinating. We need to go and get in the bathroom and get busy. I'm gonna pull everything out. I'm not gonna mess with any of Grant's stuff. He's really just not working with a lot over there and I don't really care how he organizes his stuff. My stuff is what stresses me out and my stuff is what has become a problem. So that's what we're working on today. Let's go to the bathroom. I wish I was saying bat cave. Let's go to the bat cave. All right, here it is, moment of truth. I'm sorry about the echo. That's just the way bathrooms are. Okay, hey guys, really quick, I have to pop in here and let you know I have a quick announcement, but it's a big announcement. So if you watch my vlog channel, you already know what's going on, but I've been wanting to do a channel merge for a really long time. I've mentioned it before here and there, but not really knowing what was gonna happen with it or how long it would take or anything. And I just got a call yesterday saying that it's happening. So not only am I moving out of this house, it's a big moment. My vlog channel is gonna be moving over to my main channel. So I'm just gonna have one channel. Everything that's on Leanne Vlogs right now is gonna come over to Leanne Says. And going forward, all of my vlogs are gonna live on this channel. So every Tuesday I upload a weekend vlog if you're not subscribed to the vlog channel. I mean, if you don't like watching vlogs, if you don't wanna see vlogs from me, I totally understand. I'm not trying to force them on you, but I'm just, I'm just seeing that YouTube has changed. My channels have changed. It was a million years ago, or at least it feels like a million years ago when I decided to split them up. It just, it just felt like that's what everyone was doing and that's what I was supposed to do. And now I don't feel like it's at all necessary. So they're gonna be all in one. So vlogs on Tuesdays, regular videos, like beauty lifestyle videos, what I normally do on this channel on Thursdays as usual. So I'm doing the same amount of content. Maybe I'll do more definitely won't do less, but that's the new deal going forward. Making this change has been something I've thought so much about and I've gone back and forth a million times, weighed the pros and cons, and really, like, I've been really nervous about it and I really hope it goes seamlessly. I hope you guys accept this change. I mean, so many of you guys tell me all the time that you've been with me since 2011, 2010, 2012, like since for 2012, so <laughs> since forever. And I so, so appreciate you guys sticking with me and rolling with the changes. I mean, I kind of feel like I've grown up on YouTube in a way. I mean, yes, it was just like through my 20s, but my whole life has changed in probably every way possible since I started YouTube. And so many of you guys have stuck with me and this is another change. It is a big change, but at the same time, nothing is really changing on this channel. Like my lifestyle and beauty videos will still be coming at you every Friday Eve or Thursday and you can count on that, but we're just gonna get extra vlogs every week too. So it's an extra video. So if you don't like vlogs, I totally understand. They're just gonna be here. So for everybody that does like to watch them, they'll be here, you know what I'm trying to say? I want everybody to be on the same page. You are my people. I care about you guys. I appreciate you guys being here and I just, I just want the communication to be clear. So I wanted to just pop in because I recorded this last week before I knew any of this and so I couldn't say it then and I want you to know what's up. So thanks. Let's get to the video. <laughs> I tried to say that so fast. <laughs> this is my section. So I have a drawer down here, these cabinets, and all three of these drawers. Surprise, surprise. I'm dominating the storage space in this bathroom. Horrible wife. Yes, I know. But I have a lot of junk. <laughs> Do I need all this junk? 
That's what we're finding out today. I mean, no, we're not finding that out today. We know I do not need all of this garbage. Oh my gosh. How on earth did I let this happen? It's so bad. There's just solid junk. There actually are storage containers in here. There actually was a rhyme and reason to how this was supposed to be organized when I moved in. Obviously, I've completely lost to that and it's just become an absolute garbage pit. But wait, there's more. Here is a drawer down here that is really lovely and so helpful. And really, it's not that horrible. It's not like this, but it could obviously be much, much better. Now, let's move over here. This is the drawer that I use the most. This is the most needed drawer and it's pretty much on the same level as this one. It's definitely giving it a run for its money. So this drawer needs an incredible amount of work. Okay, moving it on down here. Oh, surprise, surprise, another drawer that needs so much work. This is a lot of hair stuff mainly. Do you see how deep this drawer is? Yeah, this is insane. Okay, now this craziness. I've got contact stuff, I've got tooth stuff, I've got backups, I've got hair stuff. This is like a miscellaneous drawer. It's the most out of reach drawer, so this is where I stash a lot of extras, but some of this stuff is stuff that I need more often. And so, I don't know, I need to rethink the organization. Obviously, I also need to rethink how much stuff I actually have because this has gotten extremely out of hand. And on top of that, I have even more stuff on top of the counter. How do I also have stuff on top of the counter? This is a mystery to me. Today, we're figuring it out. So obviously the move is the biggest inspiration for this clean out, but I also recently saw a video by Jessica Braun and she was cleaning out her whole bathroom and I love the way she did it. She also did a lot of like organization stuff, but since we're moving in like five minutes and all of this is going in boxes really, really soon, I don't have to focus on that as much right now, luckily. So we're just gonna attack it. First step is to just pull everything out and we're gonna put it on the floor. And I think that'll make it a lot easier for me to see how much of each category I have and it's gonna make it even easier for me to pull stuff out and get rid of stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so gross. I don't know what's spilled down here. I haven't found it yet. I don't know if you can fully see, but there are just like brown stains right here. Maybe it's a self tanner. This is like my self tanning section. This is a glasses case. Oh my gosh, look at these glasses. <laughs> Why have I not thrown these away? I got these, I don't even know, in high school. Look at how tiny they are. The brand is BB. Do you remember BB? I think BB is still around. Oh, I can't see anything right now because I have my contacts in, but look at how tiny <laughs> these glasses are. Wow. I think I have to throw this away completely. Oh. And let me also just take this opportunity, this embarrassing moment, showing you this gross stain that I had no idea was there because it's so covered in clutter, to tell you, if you didn't know, shelf paper. It's a thing and it is so needed. Like, if, especially if you're like renting a house, like we're renting this place, it's not ours to ruin. Put down the shelf paper. It takes a lot of time when you move in, but if something like this happens, you're safe. You just have to take it up, throw it away when you move, and the cabinets are perfectly fine. I know it's not something that everybody does, but as you can see, shelf paper helps so, so much. I cannot sing its praises enough. Probably also just like being a cleaner, tidier person, more organized would also help, but like, oh, this is so gross. <laughs> I can't wait to find out what disgusting things happen in this cabinet, but you can be sure I will report back as the story progresses. Okay, so obviously the investigation has concluded, but my findings are inconclusive. So I see that it's kind of like a brown spot and it's right underneath this pipe right here. There was this bag in the back. It's kind of wet. Like there's some wetness on the inside. There's wetness on the outside. And it makes me think that there's some kind of leak because nothing back here was open. There's really no explanation. And the only thing that seemed to be wet was this bag and it was like in the back back here. So I'm gonna have to check that out more later. I'm just gonna wipe it up and hopefully make it look better. 
right now i just need to move on to getting everything out of the drawers because i already have so much stuff surrounding me i feel like the walls are closing in and i need to get busy <laughs> Okay, I think I actually figured it out. Mystery potentially solved. I looked back here and I'm seeing some of that brown stuff around this pipe. So I think there might be a very slight leak and it's been happening over time, but at least it looks fresh for the time being. Oh my gosh, I've taken so much stuff out already and it's just never ending. This is the drawer that is like Mary Poppins bag. I put stuff in and I can always put more stuff in and it is so terrible. How did this happen? Perfume, I have hair stuff, I have skincare, I have teeth whitening stuff. One of these little things that I got from Amazon that is like the best and worst thing that has ever come into my life. It's like a pimple popping tool set. I do surgery on myself. Just kidding, I did not promote that. Do not buy this. Forget you saw this. I even have this little guy to give my mustache a little trim every once in a while. Like forget what's in my bag videos, let's do what's in my drawer videos. Like there's so much stuff in here, it's crazy. Actually, let me be clear, I'm pretty sure everyone has already forgotten what's in my bag videos, but the new what's in my bag video. Let's do what's in my drawer videos. Vote down below, your voice matters. All right. <laughs> I'm sweating right now. So many tiny little baby claw clips. As you can see, another example of shelf paper saving the day. Now moving on to my hair drawer. I have countless hair products and hair tools in here, as well as brushes. Look. Oh, look, this was a big life moment. Tangle teaser, gotta love them. I've had this one since like Tangle Teasers came to America on the Mayflower. I've had this one for a very long time and I actually purchased a new one. Now that I have a new one, I fully intended to throw this one away. You know what, you know what? We're throwing it away. Okay, we gotta clear this out and a lot of it needs to go because really I don't use a lot of it. Okay, let's get this out. What is this? It's like a graveyard of tops. It's also loose hairs, excuse me if you're squeamish. It's like so many tops to things that I don't even have anymore. Why is this my life? <laughs> I need to like censor this for the internet. I am so sorry. I am disgusting. My hair does not stay in my head. That was a full tumbleweed of hair. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, the piles around me are just growing and growing and growing at an alarming rate. I'm getting a little overwhelmed, but this hair drawer is finally better. No tumbleweeds here, a little bit of eh, but whatever, it's shelf paper, we're fine. We've got to move on to this fun-filled drawer. Oh, wow. It's got a lot of everything in here. We've got mouth stuff, we've got eye stuff, we've got contacts, we've got hair removal, shaving stuff. I mean, really just anything and everything. Oh, and if you really dig to the depths of this one, you've got hair stuff. Oh my gosh, that took so long, but we are finally cleared out and ready to actually do the decluttering. A little bit along the way, I was throwing things away, just kind of, you know, completely forgetting what we're supposed to be doing here. But obviously I still have a lot to go through. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of overwhelmed. There's some stuff in here that really just doesn't make sense to me, like a measuring tape, safety pins, 
one of these things that like gets deodorant off your clothes, jewelry cleaner, plastic bags that I use and reuse and reuse when I'm traveling. Ugh. You know, I have a whole playlist on my channel for decluttering, so I've done this kind of a lot. Before I moved to Dallas, when I was cleaning out my whole house in Houston, I did a ton of decluttering, especially in the bathroom. It took me literally days. And I always come to the same conclusion. And that conclusion is, I don't deserve to have stuff. Like someone come in my house and take these things away from me. I don't deserve it. I'm a nasty rat. I <laughs> make things dirty. I have loose hairs coming out of my head at all times and they go into drawers somehow. I create tumbleweeds of my own loose hairs. It's disgusting. I don't deserve anything. <laughs> Maybe we'll just deal with these feelings another day. Right now I need to clean out everything because the sun is starting to go down and that other things to do. I'm very stressed right now. Very stressed. <laughs> oh, you know what? In all of my thinking about life and what I deserve and what I don't deserve, I didn't show you what all the piles are. So very quickly, skincare. We have a whole pile of like girly stuff. We've got ovulation test strips. We've got pregnancy tests. And then we have shaving stuff, hair removal stuff. I guess this is more of like a girly thing. Actually, I want to throw these away. I've had these for years and years and I don't use them. This is really kind of a random pile. A lot of stuff just started to bleed into each other. A foot mask. Okay. Some random nail stuff. I've got some other stuff that's a little bit more like pharmaceutical-ish. Then we have some cleanser stuff and then we have about 800 million Aveeno Skin Relief Overnight Creams because I'm obsessed with these and I'm constantly paranoid that they're gonna stop selling it. So I keep buying it over and over and over again. It is just that good. And then over here I have way too much tanning stuff. Over here we have contacts, eye stuff, a deodorant collection. This is all stuff for my mouth and teeth. Over here we have hair products of all shapes, sizes, kinds, brands. Over here we have hair bibbles and bobbles and hair tools, hair extensions, a mirror. And over here it's like, what even is this? I need to get this stuff cleared out, decluttered, throw some stuff away, throw a lot of stuff away. Decide if there's anything that I can actually donate as far as, far as like hair tools mainly, and then just get it all back in. Honestly, not completely concerned with organization or getting everything in bins and stuff, just because I'm gonna have to worry about that when I move in like 10 minutes, like I said. Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out. I'm like, ah, everything that I need to do is just like constantly racing through my head. Like I'm happy that I'm doing this, but like, I'm kind of freaking out, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just do this. <laughs> okay, start of the show. Let's talk about skincare. I'm not exactly sure how to make this not take 100 years, but I'm thinking if I just talk about the things that I wanna get rid of, it won't take the rest of our lives. I don't know, let's see. First of all, we're getting rid of this mask. I've had it for ages, it's gotta go. This one right here, it's very nice, but I don't use it anymore and I've had it for forever. Same story with this one. I just don't use it and I've had it forever. Gotta go. All right, this one, I was about to say, I don't know why I bought this, but it's a peel off mask. That's why I bought this, but do I use it? No. This one I know for a fact is an empty and I need to move it to my empties basket. This one right here, yet again, it's another mask. Do I use it? No, I do not. This is a really tough one. And honestly, I'm telling myself I should probably get rid of this but this is a tough one. It's Drunk Elephant. It was sent to me, but it's a retinol product and right now I'm trying to have a baby and I'm not using retinol products because you're not supposed to. And also I just prefer using the actual prescription Retin-A, which is right here. I've had this one forever. I feel so bad throwing this away because it was probably so expensive, but I don't use it. Oh, okay. This one, I've had this one for an actual lifetime. Definitely need to let it go. Okay, and this guy right here, uh, I never really use this. I'd like to be the kind of person that applies masks or skincare with a paddle and a brush, but that's just not me. And I've had this forever. It's probably absolutely filthy. Ooh, this one needs to go into the empties because it's empty. I think I need to get this to Grant. Okay, I didn't even know I had these. I think we all decided that these are bad for us, but now that I know that I have them, I really wanna use them. Okay, this CeraVe Skin Renewing Skin 
what is it cream serum that's confusing it's really old gotta go okay my actual skincare routine is definitely smaller than this group but i feel pretty good about what i got rid of and i'm gonna see if this can fit in the top drawer Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm kind of losing steam here, but I'm doing my best. I've got this little bin that I think that I've had my whole life. And I'm really just putting some stuff in it. This is kind of like the miscellaneous body care, like nail polish remover. I always use that in the bathroom. Wound wash, saline spray, Arnicare. I should throw this away. I'm not gonna throw it away. I sh no getting rid of that oh we have some extra spray deodorant let me get some more lotions lotions and potions my 975,000 of you know lotions do i need this i think i've had this forever i think this probably needs to go and it looks like this soap and glory lotion like the packaging is oddly changing colors i sometimes use this to wash my brushes but i've been using dr bronner's to wash my brushes a lot more lately and so even though this is completely full and i feel really guilty getting rid of it it's taking up a lot of space so i think it has to go. Oh, I didn't even know I had this. Ah, it's a CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. I need to use this on my back because somehow I started getting these creepy little red bumps on my back. Some would call them pimples. I'm trying not to do that. I think this would probably do the trick. So I need to put this in the shower. Let's see. Can, how many of these can we stuff in here? I know this is not aesthetically pleasing, but we're just doing it anyway. This is old news definitely gotta go wow okay i'm happy all right isn't that nice okay now it is time to confront the beast so many self tanners and really my routine is pretty set so this should be easy first of all this does not even go in this section it's just some coconut oil does coconut oil get old it probably does Ooh, it's got like a whole hairball on it my whole bathroom. It's just a big hairball. <laughs> Put it over there. Decide later. Okay, when it comes to self tanners, I like to try them all. Clearly, I've tried quite a few, but when it comes down to it for the past year, maybe more than a year, it's been all about this one. This is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse Self Tan Express advanced one hour tan. I've got a whole self tanning routine video on my channel. If you're curious about that, check it out. I use this. I love this one more than pretty much any other one that I've ever tried. So if you're looking for one, that one is good. Okay. And this is also definitely a keeper. The Bondi Sands self tan eraser. It actually works. Let's just talk about the things that I want to get rid of because this is going to take forever. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot. I had this pre shower tan. I actually have used this a bunch of times. Does it really work? Still can't tell you. But I completely forgot it was here because it was in this thing. Ooh, throwing this away. Be tan? No. Light medium? Yeah, that's why this is like completely full. You gotta go. That was a desperation purchase for sure. Airbrush legs, airbrush legs, tinted body spray. What? Oh, it's like body spray paint. How loud. Oh, the color is not nice. Six months. I've had this forever. It's gotta go. Okay, we're being tough. We're being tough. I have so many of these products and I like never use them. Oh no, can you see that? Oh, that's a ghastly. No. Okay, now I've got rid of enough that I can actually fit it all in the little pink thing. Is it still too much self tanner? Yes, but I'm okay with it. And then we still got like two gloves in this big box. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I shouldn't put anything else in, except I have a lot more to put in. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know where to put these. I've got like a whole collection for whatever reason, but pregnancy tests, they can definitely go in the back. I'm gonna open up a pregnancy test store pretty soon, so just check back for details. Oh my gosh, I have so much room in here, it's crazy. Oh, I have this spray bottle. I like to have this one really easy to access. Oh yeah, you know what I had in here? Hair tools. That's what really messes up this entire cabinet vibe. This is not good. This is not cute. This is not what I wanted. All this just messes everything up. Okay, new idea. I'm thinking maybe hair tools down here should work. I have a lot of them, and to be completely honest with you, this is not all of them. This is what we're working with right now. So, hair waver. 
definitely keeping this. Balloon, definitely keeping this, even though, yes, I intended to return this and then I missed the deadline, so I had to keep it. I don't like to talk about it. So many curling iron. I'm pretty sure this is the T3 one inch, and then this is the like one and a half inch. You'd think I could decide between these two curling irons. I don't think I'm ever gonna figure out a favorite, so yes, I have two almost identical curling irons. Don't talk to me about it. A straightener, should I keep this? Probably not, but if I get rid of it, will I instantly need it? Probably, so I'm keeping it. This thing, I'm getting rid of, and I'm not donating it, I'm not giving it to a friend, like this just has to go. This is garbage, you're going out of my house. This actually kind of worked. It's not pretty, I don't love it, but it's not horrible. Okay, let's move on. I've gotta get this done. I'm kind of going crazy here. I'm like really over this. Ugh, what if I just like lay down here? What up guys? Okay, okay, back to work. All right, serious decluttering. So, middle drawer, hair drawer. We've got a ton of hair stuff, but luckily I have two drawers to work with. Most of the hair stuff's gonna go in here, and then part of the hair stuff can go down here. So, let's work on the hair products first. So, first off, stuff I don't want. This one, never use it. Next up, I used to use this all the time, but I don't know, I guess I've just like fallen out of love with hair oils. Now, a couple of these things are like old favorites that I used to swear by, and I kind of want to go back and try them again to like make sure I'm over it. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember this? I used this for like 12 years straight, but then once I discovered this stuff, it's a detangler plus a heat protectant, it just changed the game for me. Oh, this is like, basically completely empty. I have so many little travel sizes of this stuff. Like I cannot go without it. This is definitely an empty. This one I haven't used it in so long, but I just want to kind of keep it as like a backup. So we actually have a lot of stuff to fit in this little drawer and it is still going to be kind of like a miscellaneous drawer but we've got all of our little razor cartridges bikini bump smoother huge thing about bobby pins do i need that probably not and here we have a bunch of contacts now here we have even more eye care stuff and i have a bunch of contact cases i definitely don't need all of these how about a hundred thousand pairs of old glasses i don't know why i don't get rid of these i definitely should but today is not the day i'm not gonna do it some of this dental stuff needs to go up here in the upper drawer now here i have some backup dental stuff okay so you see the spot that we have open and then over here we have hair accessories including this huge bag of headbands scrunchies just endless stuff uh doesn't really work right there i don't want to deal with this anymore i want to leave i don't want this to be my video <laughs> okay we gotta make this happen we gotta make this work i definitely need to separate this stuff out and get real with myself like am i gonna use all of these little tiny baby things no probably not but all these little clips and stuff like i use these all the time why did i buy this I don't know. <laughs> okay, I gotta get real here. I love these scrunchies so much, but like, why did I get so many of them? I don't regret it, but I also totally do. Uh, I gotta deal with this. Okay, I don't know. There's no way to talk through this. Okay, the good news is I did attack the hair accessory issue. The bad news is all of these little bins that I made, I even found two more little containers that I didn't know I had. They're not gonna fit in this space. So unfortunately, this one's gonna be really ugly. This is not at all a satisfying after, but I promise I will do better once I move. And this is just what I can come up with in the moment and it's really bad. <laughs> no, it cannot look like that. I promise this is not what I want. But even though that was not a satisfying drawer and it did not work out the way I wanted, everything else is done. All of my products are back in the drawers that I actually want to go back in the drawers. This one still looks really chaotic, but I promise it's so much better than it was and it's much more focused, all of this stuff is stuff that I use and I, I'm not just like hoarding it for no reason, I promise. 
You gotta believe. Okay, and then down in this drawer, I'm definitely really happy with how this turned out. I was really not utilizing this drawer half as much as I should have been. And then down here, oh my gosh, this is the satisfying one right here. I have body care, skincare overflow here. I have a very highly used hair tools here. I had to sneak that little scrunchie bag in right here. Then we have a bunch of self tanner. We've got girl stuff in the back. We've got extra cotton swabs. You can see what's going on. This is so much better. I'm so happy with how this looks. Now I'm just gonna have to take it all out again and put it in a box and take it to the new house. But even still, I'm gonna enjoy this while it lasts. All right, progress was made. Thank you so much for helping me with this. Like honestly, I know that sounds crazy, but just recording this did help me so much to tackle this project. And I'm happy with how everything came out. I feel like my bathroom is ready to move. Literally no other part of my house is ready to move right now, but it's a step in the right direction at least. Definitely follow along on the vlogs if you wanna see more moving stuff. If you wanna see more videos like this, like I definitely need to make them. So just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed. Thank you so much, you are my people and I love you. You can also find me on social media. It's Leanne Says Everywhere and I love talking to you guys over there. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Oh my gosh. I have two of these body blurs. Wow, what a lucky girl. I always have like a pale white patch on my back, but you know, I can't see it. So is it even there? It's definitely there. Okay, let's get it in. Bye.